Hello, welcome back to my channel. Psychic medium Jennifer Hall here. Thanks for joining me. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. I have a pretty exciting video for you today. Uh, at least I think it's exciting. I'm gonna share with you the three most common um, messages that spirit wants to pass along to you. So the three most common things that probably come through in my readings, I've done literally thousands of readings for people um, as a medium. And so talking with thousands of people from the other side, it's been a blast, it's been awesome. And there's always, always, always really very unique, crazy information that uh, comes through every single time. However, these three messages tend to kind of stick around in almost every single reading. So I wanna share them with you and they're gonna sound kind of vague. They're gonna sound, you know, when there's no one really to kind of put it into context with or um, any super specific validation around these three general messages messages. Um, obviously, it's going to sound a little bit more vague, but I hope that it gives you guys an idea of how maybe you can apply that message to your life. And just to let you know, um, sort of these little messages that maybe come through um, that would maybe be coming through for you right now from your loved one. So stick around if that interests you. We're going to get right into it. Welcome to Spirit Speaks with psychic medium Jennifer Hall. I just wanna say really quickly how much I so appreciate you guys and your incredible feedback. Um, I've gotten some really awesome messages from you guys, sometimes in comments, sometimes personal messages right to my email box. And I am so, so grateful for this feedback. Obviously this channel is 100% for you. So I'm here to answer questions. Um, if you have anything that you want me to talk about, please share that with me. Um, anything that you maybe wish that I would do or wish that I wouldn't do, um, be nice about it. But let me know. I'm open to the feedback and I want to know that I am so new at this. So if there's anything that you can share with me that's working, that you enjoy, please do. Anything that you'd like me to try um, or to do differently, please let me know. I would definitely appreciate that. Okay, so I don't think that these are in any particular order, so I'm just gonna fire them off as I think of them. So number one, the very, I, I feel like as if this comes up in every single one of my readings, no matter how somebody died, no matter how traumatic it was or peaceful that it was, no matter how quickly and suddenly or expected that it was, every single soul that comes to me from the other side in a mediumship reading, or even from my personal experience, says, I'm okay. I want you to know that I'm okay. I'm exactly where I need to be. I'm at peace and all is well. So this obviously in a reading would get validated by how the person passed um, or circumstances around their passing. Um, if we had a chance to say goodbye to them or not, if they wanted us to have a chance to say goodbye to them or not, if things were not right in our relationship, whatever it happens to be, obviously those things would get validated on a personal level for you in a reading. That being said, as a very general sort of um, message, it comes every single time. I need you to know that I'm okay. Obviously, here as humans, we're wondering that. We just wanna make sure that our loved ones are okay, that they're at peace, that they made it to the other side. Um, just one little thing that I've often heard from Spirit is that they literally get there instantly. So it's beautiful, it's peaceful every single time. Again, no matter how traumatic someone's passing, whether they chose to take their own life or it was some freak accident or a long you know, drawn out illness, whatever it happened to be, no matter what, as soon as they made their tra tra transition to the other side, 100% peace, love, and that's it. So know that there's no in-between, there's no stuck, they are always exactly where they need to be. So message number one that I hear every single time, I'm okay. Message number two that I get literally every single time, this is always, always, always part of a reading, um, is that they're watching you. So the message being, I see what's happening in your life since I passed and I'm a part of everything that you're doing and I hear you when you're talking to me. So very much validating, obviously, with specific information, again, um, to that specific person that's sitting across from me at the time, but in a general way, spirit wants you to know they're watching. They see what's happening in our life. They see the, the lows and they see the highs and they see all the in-betweens. And it's a very beautiful thing to know that your loved ones, even though they're not here with you and experiencing these in a physical form all along the way, 
they are 100% a part of what you're doing. And you know, we've talked about vibrations a lot before. I have some information on that for you. Um, but if we are all vibrational beings, which we are, we all have a vibration associated with us and um, our emotions and our uh, experiences are all translated into emotion and feeling and vibration. And so your loved ones being pure vibration now without that physical body, they are affected by what we're going through as well. They are a part of what we're going through. When we feel happy, they feel even happier and when we feel sad they don't feel sad but they feel happy for us that we're maybe going through something and they want us to feel good so in the readings that I do um, every single time spirit will bring up that they're watching you that they're listening to you um, they'll mention if you're talking to them they're gonna tell me that and we're gonna talk about that in the session maybe where you talk to them or at what time of the day or how you do it or whatever again there's unique specific information but for the purpose of this video I just hope that you know that they're watching that they can see what you're doing they see what you're up to they're a part of your life um, and uh, and they're listening so talk to them and keep them around you as much as you possibly can because they're there and the third message that I hear all the time from your loved ones on the other side is a little bit mm, a little bit more complicated in a sense um, it's a little bit more personal, I think. And again, obviously validated with very specific information here in a session, but from this standpoint right here, right now, while you're listening to this, your loved one wants you to be happy. And I mean, I know that sounds super cliche and it sounds like it's not lost on me that it's very, you know, seize the day and life's too short and all of that. And those things are true, but they don't come through saying those things. They never, ever, ever say life's too short or seize the day or whatever. They know that we're here having a human experience and that we'll learn from it when we transition to the other side because that's what's happened to them but they do want you to experience those happy moments. And again, being human, you're gonna experience contrast. You're gonna experience things that don't feel good, especially if you've lost someone close to you or if you're going through hard times in your life, but your loved ones want you to know that you have the ability and the capability to be happy no matter what you're going through in your life. And no matter where you sit right here, right now, today, know that there's somebody on the other side watching over you, wanting so badly for you to just experience a little bit of a better feeling, a little bit of joy, a little bit of love, a little bit of abundance or whatever it is that you feel like you need. They want you to have that as well. And they want you to be loving of yourself because when you feel any kind of contrast, which again, we're human, we will, when you feel any kind of um, difficulty in your life, it always, always, always stems from not loving yourself purely. Always. I promise you, if you're angry at somebody else or if something's kind of going on with someone else in your life, of course, it's easy to say, well, that has nothing to do with me. That's all them. It's not. It is 100% something to do with your relationship, with your inner being, with your true self. Are you loving yourself properly? Are you giving yourself grace? Are you giving yourself respect? And are you really treating yourself the way that your loved ones on the other side want you to treat yourself or the way that your source energy would want you to treat yourself, the way that your inner being wants to be treated? Are you treating yourself that way? It always stems back to taking care of you, but your loved ones on the other side, they want you to know a, that they're um, okay, that they're fine, that they made it to where they need to make it, make, they made it to where they needed to make it to, and that they're okay, and that their transition was fine, and that they're all, all is well on the other side with them. Um, they also want you to know that they're watching you, that they're hearing you, and they see what's happening in your life. And of course, number three, they want you to know that you can be happy and they want nothing more for you than for you to experience joy in your life. So do the best that you can. Of course, if you're going through um, a, a stage of grief right now, or if you're in an angry state, or if you have troubles in your life, yes, I get it, it's hard. But if you can turn towards yourself, give yourself some self-care, um, love on yourself, respect yourself, and uh, watch how things sort of shift in your life, maybe it's just time to step back for a second and focus on you and uh, really kind of get things right in your life and know that your loved one is in full support of you feeling happy and well and loved. Done. <laughs>